Taylor Supreme swear, sit down now. I know him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I know you're a super amazing, dope, talented, all over the board, do all kind of type of music artists, but not everybody knows this yet, and honestly, y'all are slacking. But yeah. I'm gonna give you a pass for today. So what are you bringing to the stage today? New stuff, old stuff, like what is it? Uh, I'm bringing uh, new records that I recently dropped. Um, it's all over uh, the streaming platforms. Um, and I'm bringing energy, a lot of energy. We noticed, yeah. you know, right? Can you do it again? Do what again? What you just did when we started it. T. Fest, make some noise! <laughs> Okay, so I think his performance just might be a little live. So, I mean, what is it about T.Dot Fest that has you excited? Is it the platform? Is it the people? Is it the event? Is it the organizers? Like, what is it people need to know and tell them why T.Dot Fest is so amazing? T.Dot Fest is amazing because it brings a lot of local artists together. So you know I'm saying? No matter where you're from, they're all in one area, and they're here to perform and give it their all, you know? So. I know. I, not a lot of platforms give local artists as much of leverage as T-Dot Fest does, yeah. so all that's cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, other than that, what are you looking forward to doing tonight? Turning up. Ew. <laughs> Let the people know where they can find you, please. They can find me on all social media platforms at Supreme Swiss. It is Supreme Swiss on all social media platforms. Martial law. If it ain't martial, it ain't law. Okay, this is WWE TV, your girl Century Sam, Supreme Swiss. Throwing it back to the freaking crowd. Okay, we're here at Tita Fest. Yes, sir. And here with these two gentlemen. Could you introduce yourselves? So Wavy Sound, DJ Rude Boy. DJ Wavy, So Wavy Sound. Yeah, okay, so what brings you here today? Well, we came. We came. Uh, basically, we came. We came to do some sets. We have our artist time with us. We're gonna do another set probably in the middle of it late, later on when it gets later. We have LB Spiffy here. I don't know how the schedule goes, but we're just gonna work with it. We see the vibe, and we're just gonna work with it. Yeah, I know LB. I know LB Spiffy's mom. Okay. I seen him come up, so yeah, yeah, that's family still. I don't really know him personally, so we're gonna work with him today and see where it goes. You know. Yeah. So, what? Do you say is the importance of events like this for the city? Um, do you want to take how important is it? No, nah, definitely. These these events are definitely important for the city. You know what I mean? To to bring together all the the local artists for the city to um get to experience the local talent, not only for the the viewers but also for the the artists themselves. It's it's, it's very important to get these type of opportunities in your city, sure. right? To get the support from locally before you try and go internationally, right? This is where it starts, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta make sure the city loves your movement and there's no stop you from there, you know? You can go global. Yeah, no, definitely, bro. Okay, so is there anything else you guys would like the world to know? We go out to Atlanta, New York, oh. the different cities. We haven't even touched the states yet. We wanna build a solid foundation where we're producers too, we mix, we engineer, we do all that, we DJ. So we're just building our foundation and we're ready for the states. Everything happens for a reason. Nah, but look out, we're coming though. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. So we sound. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. All right, bet. Uh, okay. What up, what up, what up? This is WWE TV and your girl Century Sam. I'm with the man Tone Kelly. You already know he's a super duper recording artist, but today he's a host for T.Fest 2019. Now, we all know you do music, obviously. Been doing music from time. Can you tell them what's new and what's going on? What can we find right now? All right, now you can check me out on Spotify. Got some singles out on there. Sauce drip every day, all day. I know it was just released uh, last week and uh, Verino Caliente and then we're dropping the video for I know in like two weeks that we shot in Jamaica. Oh, in Jamaica? That must have been fun. Next time I gotta be in the video because you know what I'm saying? We're on free trips. But anyway, other than that, everybody obviously knows you're infamous for the rap competition So You Think You Can Rap. Now, how is that doing? It's in the second year I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, right? Yeah, second year, success, second successful year, so yeah. All right, now are we midway? Is it done already? What's what, what are we gonna hear about that too? Uh, tonight we got the semifinals taking place in the Smiling Buddha, 961 College Street. So we're in the semifinals right now, and then the finals is on August 31st. So you already know August 31st. Get your ass out there for the finals of So You Think You Can Rap Canada. This is your girl Century Sam. Now let them know where they can find you, all your Instagrams and everything. 
Uh, my Instagram, you can follow me at the real Tone Kelly. Uh, Facebook, Tone Kelly. You can go to my website, www.tonekelly.com. Yeah. In other words, just type in Tone Kelly and you'll get where you need to get. This has been WWE TV. T.Fest 2019, Saturday. Ew, but T.Fest. Why? All right. I'll see. What up, what up, what up? You already know. Once again, WWE TV with Century Sam. And you know, the man with the belly button. Hey. His name is Charles. He just finished hosting the amazing job, hyping up the artists, making sure they were comfortable when they were coming on. Now, who is your favorite act by far on your set? On my set, I, they're all my clients, so I'm proud of everybody. Oh, he's, he's just a proud papa. He ain't trying to blur. He's, all lines are blurred. But I will say our headliner this year for 2019 Fest was Maka. Okay. Oh, man, he killed the last set with yeah. the dancers. I'm, I think you interviewed him already. Or you might. I will. Yeah. Maka, I'm going to find you, yes? Yeah. Come see her, eh? <laughs> Even though you'll see this later, but you it's can still true. come see me it's after true. you see this. There you go, there you go. Damn. I sent you some of the next, Maka. <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay, let's get normal. Let's, okay, serious, serious. All right, serious. All right. Thing, serious thing. So, you're, an, you're actually an art, artist consultant. Yeah, so we consult artists and entertainment companies and basically connect all the dots for y'all so you don't waste time on Google trying to talk to this person, that person, waste time. Like, we've already spent the money networking and doing all the stuff that's difficult. So when you come to us and you say, well, I need to get into like a multi-platinum studio with like a top charting songwriter, mm -hmm. it's like done. Huh? And he done. said done. Done, done, done. We're from Toronto, you know what that means, done. done. So yeah, that's what we do. We just help connect the dots. Emerging artists is our specialty. And we just want to make sure that we're curating the right content for Canada, Toronto, because we're on a map now. Okay, yeah, right, very so true, very true. My job is to make sure that we're pushing out as much content, and we know that funding is the major issue, so we invest in the artists. Yes, because what do they call? They don't call us full belly artists. No. They call us starving artists. Star no, we got to change that. Exactly. We got to change that whole perception. And so that's what your company is trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Oh. So you come to us, and you can go to your factors and your government stuff as well, but we're completely private, so it's a little easier to get through. I like that. I like that. So where can everyone find you? How do, how do they get the information about this wonderful, oh, you know... You go on your, your whatchamacallit. Your whatchamacallit. Your whatchamacallit. And you go... Whatever device smells like your hand today. <laughs> your whatchamacallit. Your whatchamacallit. I like what you said, though, when you really penny that. <laughs> But you can reach me at uh, www.benjaminverde.com, B-E-N-J-A-M-I-N-V-E-R-D-E.com. That's benjaminverde.com. You don't know. You want to get some consultation? Get some funding. Yeah, this is not Dr. Phil kind of no, consultation. No, 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 no. No. There's no, there's no, no couch and things. We just come. Help well, you could buy a couch. Well, if it work with you, you could maybe buy a couch later can, on. Yeah? Well, they're making the money. They're monetizing. They're right. That's what we're going to help them with so they can buy their own couch. See, now money comes into play. I lose my mind. But anyway, hey. this has been Charles. This is WWE TV and Century Sam 2019 T.Fest. Fest. Hey. Don't know. We Under. out. He has a belly button. I got a belly button. What up, y'all? This is WWE TV again, and I'm Century Sam at T.Fest 2019. Now, this is a man who does not need to bloom <laughs> to be amazing. His name is Unbloom. Now, Unbloom, I need to know where this name came from because it's kind of like real like deep. It, yeah, unfortunately, the, the explanation is kind of too. So uh, I actually have a master's in English literature. And uh, one of the uh, guys that I studied a lot was Thomas Hardy, who's a poet. Okay. And he used to put the prefix un in front of words in order to draw more attention to the word itself. So, Shout out to big words like prefix, yeah. UN plus. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I did is I just was like, you know what, Bloom's a fucking cool word. Can I swear on this? Oh, no. Just start again. So I said. So I said to myself, uh, no, UN is a cool prefix to put in front of Bloom. And I thought it could be both dark and happy and light and sad and all that good stuff. So that's what I did. Yeah. Now. I have yet to have a philosopher basically up here. I mean, we're all artists, so 
We're all philosophers in our yeah, own right. Absolutely. But you came out here with a literary degree, yeah. and he got a crew. I, I was like, oh, you bought the band. Can you tell them what, I, what you told me? Well, I had to, I have some equipment to bring in. So we have a pretty cool stage setup where I'm hitting pads and triggering things, like with a drum kit kind of thing, an electronic drum kit. Oh, shit. So I've got, uh, I've got the crew with me doing I'm that. like Ryan Leslie. Hey, why not? Woo. We're at T-Dot Fest. we got to go big. Hey. Right? right? WWE, we got to go big. Okay. So, so that's what we decided to do is I have uh, some friends that are also part of my crew and we just did that off to the side of the camera love you know they're love blowing you. them kisses and love stuff them, love them. just check the live you know <laughs> anyway so now what are you trying to bring that's different to tea off as because obviously yeah. Toronto is in a huge hip-hop phase Absolutely. it's like everybody's rapping and it's just like this booming thing going on now Sure. You are okay. You already said you're bringing the pads and everything live to the stage yeah. to make music on some Ryan Leslie sexy love stuff. Sure, why not? What else do you want the people to know that you bring? Like, if they can't come to see you today, they have to see you because. Well, it's just good energy, right? I mean, like, I love the rap scene. I love the hip hop scene. Uh, I I integrate that sometimes into my set too. Uh, but for a more condensed set like this, we're gonna dance. We're gonna move. We're maybe gonna cry a little bit too. You know, we're gonna get in our feelings, you know? So it's gonna be fun, for sure. Somebody's gonna get married tonight. Absolutely, we're, we're gonna get someone married, someone proposed to tonight, guaranteed. <laughs> All right, I'm Lou, I'm Lou. We're about to bloom and blossom into this party, but before we do that, please. Tell them where they can find you, where they can stalk you, basically. Um, I'm going to take this information, too. Sure, sure, absolutely. So you can find me literally everywhere online. I'm on Twitter, Unbloom Music. I'm on Instagram, Unbloom Music. Uh, go find me everywhere. Tonight, you can find me on the West Commons stage, 545. Woo! So uh, hopefully we get some of that nice sort of midday kind of vantage going on. Right. You know what I mean? So. That, like, that was it called Midsummer Night's Dream Lighting? Yeah. Oh, I got here. I like that. There's a little something in here. <laughs> A little, little English there too. Yes. Yeah. Huh? No, we're gonna do our best to have some fun tonight. So find me online, find me on Spotify, Apple Music, it's all there. So Alright, this has been on Bloom. I'm Sanji Sam. And yeah, I know this is WWE TV. Ah. TFS 2019. Bye-bye. Yo, WWE TV at Century Sam, and I got Butters.G in the building. Yes, good gang. Hey, huh. he wasn't wearing his shirt earlier, so when you see the footage, you might not recognize yeah. him. Go see the tat, though. When you see the 11 11, that's me. He right. Now we gotta freaking mentally readjust. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, sorry, sorry. so as ladies, you can see he's very smexy, mm. but he's also super talented. He killed the stage. He had awesome stage presence. Now, I need to know what's going on. How did you get started? Where you get the name? Uh, actually, I got the name from my mom in grade two, so shout out my mama. I... Yes, mommy. You mm -hmm. did very well. I'm gonna keep that shit real. I used to drop all the dinner plates, so that's how I got butters for short form. Oh, yeah, Butterfingers. And then G is my last name for Garnett, so G, butters G. You know, this shit actually has a meaning behind it. I didn't just think of this shit, you know what I mean? So, and uh, music. I've been making music for like four years now. Okay. And uh, just taking me places I never thought it would take me. I started for fun. I'm still having so much fun doing this shit. Um, I just got back from LA, three months doing music, all that shit. So I love music, man. Music's music my life right now. So I'm just thankful. See, that's what we need. More artists from Toronto going out to the nether regions of the planet and coming back and supporting and doing shows like this to show the young cats and everybody else trying to do it that they can continue to do it. So big up to you for that. Thank you, I appreciate that. No problems, but also, like, where's the inspiration for the music come from? Because that stuff's real legit. Oh, man. I, I Ever since I was a kid, I've just been making sounds and shit. Like, just like weird sounds across, uh, uh, like throughout like the Like meow? Yeah, like, no, like little, like, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like know? that too. It's like, it's like musical Tourette's. Yeah, I mean, exactly. So yeah. my mom's like, do something with that, you know? like form that energy and put it to something she's like try to make a song it's mom like, said shut up yeah go make some music go or make, make some music, noise I mean, go, stop making uncle, noise uh, yeah my uncle <laughs> my uncle's always playing guitar and shit so oh so you have a musical background yeah with it. yeah okay, yeah cool. so uh yeah my uncle's like a country guy so that's where i get my melodic from when you guys look at me up butters you know look me up buy my music but yeah i just been making music um since i was young and now i'm just taking it serious for four years and take me places i never thought i would, I would go that's right. That's Butters.G. I'm guessing everywhere, right? Yeah, Butters.G. At Butters.G. Everywhere. Two Z's, everywhere. Two Z's, uh, Z's, right? We're in Canada. Z's. No, I think they'll, they'll understand. They'll get it? Yeah. Uh, B-U-T-T-E. -T -T -E if you don't get it, Z then you need a can of spinach real quick. Yeah, turn into Popeye. Yeah, some Popeye life needed. But anyway, mm -hmm. Butters.G.
Besides that, G, I've had so much fun with you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Dunno. Can't wait to see you later. WWE TV. Go find him. This has been Century Sam. T. Fest 2019. Ew. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Pretty from the city and T-Dot has been real. We have here... Scotty G from the Funky Bunch. Oh, can you tell us what you do? I'm a hip-hop choreographer, entrepreneur, extravagant guy. <laughs> Where are you from? Boston. So what do you think this event means to Toronto? How do you feel about I think it? I think it connects the community as well. This, this is a great event. It connects the community from R&B to pop to hip-hop, everything. Everything you want is here, T dot, dot, dot. Who are you expecting to see here? Who are you expecting to perform, you know, turn everything up? You know what, I heard of a lot of artists. I haven't got pinpointed who I want to see, but I want to see them all. I just want to check them all out. But I want to see everybody, though, honestly. So you can cut this and tape it, reverb it, you know, whatever you want to do. But I want to see her perform. Me perform? Yeah. You perform? Boy, <laughs> you, you don't want to see me perform. What you mean? You, you look like a performer. You got I, your face for it? Boy. What? Y'all going to see me. <laughs> yes, right. Y'all going to see. Not today. <laughs> but y'all going to see me. <laughs> hey, you got style and class. Definitely the rest of it. Style and class. And yes, that is that. Glowing already. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Well. I am Pretty from the City, and we are here with WWE TV, and we're going to wrap it up with... Scotty G, it's me, the incredible. The girls say I'm edible. Ooh, tell us where we can find you. You go to therealfunkybunch.com. Boom, we're on tour with MC Hammer right now in Cisco. And we also got a single out called um, Absolutely with Cisco on it. Level up. Let's get it. T Porter just performed, hit the stage. DJ <laughs> this DJ Lady Super right now. We go live, man. Rising up and coming artist right now. Coming out straight from Jamaica, Canada, representing across the world right now. All right, all right. So I am pretty from the city, and we are here at T Dot Fest, and we have here T Polo, T Polo on the record, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Tell us what you do. Okay, so I'm a Jamaican, I'm a reggae dancer, artist, I sing positive music, conscious music, uplifting the people, all of that. That's me. Can you spit a little something for me? Spit a little something? Let's fight fear, fight poverty, fight bad mind, the whole of them could see. Let's fight fear, fight poverty, fight bad mind, the whole of them could see. Every day me here, ask the father, why, why? Every day me see the tears falling from your eyes. But my mommy, yeah, please beg your old and longer. And sister, me, yeah, please beg your old and stronger. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what brings you here to T-Dot Fest? What brings me here to T-Dot Fest? I guess my talent is what got me here. I perform, I made it here, and I'm grateful for whoever chose me, select me with the few and the other talented artists, and I, it was a great, great experience. I love it. I love, the people are amazing. Well, there. You have it. Hot girl, hot girl. She's like a on it. Hey. If you want to hear more of my music, you can find me on any streaming platform, T Polo, T E E P O L O, on Instagram, T E E P O L O, or T E E underscore P O L zero. Stay blessed. And let them know your name again. T Polo. Don't forget it. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, it's ole, ole. Have fun today, but I am hot, hot, hot. I got this cute little, oh, I can't right now. Can I kidnap him? Manager, can I kidnap him? I know your people from time, maybe. There can be. No. <laughs> anyway, sir, please introduce yourself to the masses because I don't think I could do you justice. Okay, uh, how's it going? My name's Rose. For the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Rose, you can find me at IG, official Rose, R O W Z. Right, you know. Okay, so you had like an amazing performance actually. I was back there trying to like wiggle, but I can't twerk, you know. I'm working on it. But um, you had like a camera strapped to you. What was that about? It was a little GoPro because I have a little 
I have a little vision, you know, a couple of my videos, I want it to be like a first person type, like a video game, you know how like your first person shooter just has a gun there, and then you just see the gun and then you're there shooting people, but like it's me experiencing everybody going through what I, going through my experience fans, whatever crowd their experiences when I'm on stage, you know what I mean? That's sick. That reminds me of like that movie Action Something where like he wakes up and it's like on Netflix. You know what I'm talking about? Um, Action, Action Thompson, Action Mike, I don't know. Hardcore Henry or something. Hardcore Henry, that's it. Ah, yes. That's the movie right there. That's the movie right there. Trust me. He's about to hardcore Henry the shit. Oh, sorry. He's about to hardcore Henry the crap out of T. Dot Fest. You already know. 2019 again, let them know who you is, and let them know where you at, it's WWE TV. Uh, you already know what it is, we're at T.Fest, it's official Rose, Rose, you already know with the Sante Goo, you already know, we get it live, we're here, getting it popping, ah, uh, with the sweet bits, you already know, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, Century Sam, Rose, WWE TV. You can turn up the camera, I'm still on camera, we still here, oh, T.Fest, T.Fest, you guys, the camera's rolling, camera's rolling. She's next. Oh. Get in there. Get in the camera, woman. Tita fest. Tita fest. Tita fest. Oh, 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 oh. Electric. What is it called? No. Speaker's corner version of Tita fest. Here we go. You guys don't know what Speaker's corner is, do you? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Get it. Get it. I'm on the mic. I'm on the mic. All right, now's you. Come, let's go. Right now. WWE TV, this is Century Sam. And now, I'm going to introduce my power pet looking friend, Alenka! Yes, that's what's up. I'm sorry. They don't have a purple power puff, but they need one now. And now she's here. She's here. Okay, so how has your day been? Because we've been here for a while. As you can see, this one here is disappearing. Honestly, I performed like way early. I performed like four or five hours ago. And I'm still here. It's like exhausting and hot. I just want to know um, where the suction device is on your head because I'm yet to see a drop of sweat. And I'm on here looking like, whoo. It's all being absorbed back up into the wig. Oh, it's, it's doing it, honey. It's doing The whole everything <laughs> is doing it. They are I have happy. To take the so I hear you do hip hop, R and B, soul, jazz, poetry. You do writing, everything. Yeah, I like from top to bottom. Um, I with my producer, we make the beat uh, together. Like we go into a room with absolutely nothing, and we work from the bottom up. We do the writing, we do the beat production, we do the mastering, everything together. So. Yeah. It's just a beautiful thing to see women in the industry in Toronto, in Canada, yeah. supporting just that, you know, doing music. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not like, oh, I gotta do one way or the other. Like, exactly. they're allowed, and that's what this generation is about, and what a lot of artists have been saying. It's like the freedom to be able to do what you want because yeah. of social media is created this like explosion of like creativity yeah. where we thought that technology would take from creativity it's kind of given us right exactly. so what is your favorite part of say social media or technology when it comes to like your everyday life i i don't want to say social media makes everything easy technology and everything though but everything like even like coffee machines anything your favorite thing that makes your life in 2019 easier and like yeah i can't do without that other than your phone okay okay 
So you guys, you're gonna laugh at me when I say this, and like I should totally be sponsored for this. But I like to do a lot of online shopping, so so I use this thing called Honey, and you get. Oh my God, I love Andy. I love Andy. Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I don't know honey. Honey, it's this thing that scours the entire internet for all the coupons, and like I, I was shopping on Fashion Nova, my transaction was $160. Took off $62 from my transaction, so. Oh, when we share this, you better at them. Yeah, to be honest, like, I know you're asking, like, oh, what's your favorite thing about technology? And I'm like, she said honey because it I gives me discounts. No, that's a typical, like, yo, good idea. Like, I need some discounts on everything, too. Jeez. Anyway, I need a discount, right? We could use a discount on this heat, though. Yeah. Inside here is crazy. But let, okay, please tell them where they can find you. I need them to know where to get your stuff. Okay, so on my Instagram handle is at Olenka Back. You can find me on YouTube at uh, just Olenka, and on SoundCloud as Olenka as well, and on all social media platforms, uh, streaming services as just Olenka. All right, you done now. That's my girl. This is me. This is WWE TV. Ow, T dot 2019. Okay, those are nice. Those are nice. See, I wore Jordans too. <laughs> but mine are more like you can step on them and it can rain and, you know. <laughs> These are my work shoes. <laughs> yep, you already know it's your girl Century Sam again with WWE TV. And this is Natty B. Okay, so now performing on the T.Fest stage is a big thing. What does it mean to you though? Like what is what is being on in T Dot Fest? Like what does that give to artists? Like how does that help your brand? Like you know what I mean? Um, I think it helps my brand by I mean I'm 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 to hold my mic I think I think it um it helps my brand in many ways, you know, being on such a big stage in front of you know thousands and thousands of people. Um it's a good look for yourself and it's a good look like, you know, especially when you're coming from like so I, I grew up in Rexdale. Okay. Um, you know, right by the airport. Out to Rex, then yeah, out to the Rex, I love that. people up there, love y'all. Um, where it's like, you know, I was just like everyone else, regular person playing ball, you know, going to Fresh Value, getting Mesha's fried chicken combo. Mesha! Big up, <laughs> nobody is big up Mesha, yo. Where's the Toronto fucking show? Sorry about the swearing, we'll save that for some time. Toronto, like, what Barn Center is still one of the best malls ever? Know that from now. $3 Tuesday. Ah, you can go watch a movie. Also. Five dollars, five dollars at the movies. Okay, but, but, but yeah, it's it was it's good for me to know that you know you're able to achieve something like T Dot Fest. You know, a lot of artists they strive to get out somewhere and perform on a big stage like this. So to me, it's really a it's really a blessing. All the everything that's came to me this year is really a blessing. So speaking of everything that's came to you this year, like what have you done? What are you doing? What should we know about if we don't know that it's out there already? Like. Please inspire us. Give us all the information we need to know about you. Uh, so this year, uh, I got signed by DJ Andre905 and J-Rock, a.k.a. Justin Rocha. Cool. So I now have a management team that takes care of all my bookings, and they send me out to different places to go DJ. Cool. Um, I also transformed my Instagram to be more professional. So that way, you know, there wasn't Whatever a, that means. <laughs> and as well as uh, trying to secure residency in different clubs like Rebel, Cure, Moda. So I've been kind of moving on the more professional business side of things and carrying myself in a very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very business manner. Okay. Yep. Yes. He said he's about his money. If you need a translation, he used to be on some, but he ain't on that no more. So now he trying to like, you know, other foot that. And you'd be like, yeah, I'll work with me. And he'd be like, yeah, I'll work with you. And he'd be working with you on like a nice level, right? Yes, oh, indeed. That smile does not quit, sir. I am so sorry. <laughs> he just got me like quick caught. I'm telling you, a bunch of these boys got me caught up today. Shit. I'm like, my feelings, I don't know. Baby, I just don't care. Okay, we, we, we. <laughs> Can you tell them your name real quick? We got things. My government name? No. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. My name is DJ Natty B. You can follow me at it's DJ Natty B on the gram and the DJ Natty B movement. All right, that's enough. WWE TV. Bye bye. Yes, everyone, it's the one and only Brooklyn, and I am back. Yes, I am back again, and I'm with this handsome gentleman right here who looks like a. 
a bottle of milk. Mm, looking so fresh and so clean. Yes, honey. So let everybody know your name and where you from. Uh, my name is Lavish, 20-year-old rapper, singer, songwriter from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm here at T-Dot Fest, about to perform. 50 minutes set real soon. Uh, before I swag your right, I think, or yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, are you amped? Are you ready? Do you got your peoples out here ready? Of course, I got my, I got Rebel, I got my DJ Superstar. I got the people outside. I got my people with me. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. That's dope. That's dope. So, what can we, ex what can we expect from your performance today? Music you've never heard before. Different energy, you know, confidence, and all that. I love it, I love it. So where's your outfit from? Cause this is Gucci, I love this. I love this little get together. Let everybody know about this ensemble. This is where I got Ghost Label on right now. Uh, my boy actually has a store, downtown Toronto. Uh, it's called Ghost Label. It's hooked up with a fit today and I, yeah. Woo, 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 that plug right there, that plug right there. So, I'm not gonna keep you up too much cause I know it's really hot as hell. It's hot as hell in here and we melting. So after your performance, you're gonna come back and let us know, I'm gonna check you out again and let you, you know, after you're done, hopefully you're still fresh and so clean, clean. But it's the one and only Brooklyn and we're out.